Hi, you too. So this week, um, we are going to talk about our bathroom and um, how much we spent and the size of it and, get a, and give you guys some details about... About the bathroom. Yeah, because it's just about ready to be done. So we're going to go, yeah, just start from the beginning and just explain everything that we've done for the bathroom. Um, but before we get into it, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well. In addition, um, make sure to just... Uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, yeah, check out our channel for all of our other videos if this is the first one that you've watched. All right, let's get into it. Here is the bathroom um, door. There's going to be an internal um, cavity slider here that'll slide back that way. Um, so that's why it looks like such a massive opening at the moment. Shower in the corner here. Big shower. So we'll have a big glass um, wall here. And then bathroom vanity and toilet here. So I've just put some um, extra timber in the back there to um, allow to hang our big mirror that we're gonna have here. But if we don't do this now, we've got to hang our mirror up and there's nothing there to hold it. It's gonna be a bad time. So a lot's been happening uh, in the house. Um, the plumber's been here. He's um, piped up the whole shower. So up here we have our um, big rain shower head which is massive. And um, I'm just putting some timber in to hold that up to take the weight. Um, over here is gonna be just a removable shower head. And um, over here is where the mixer is. So we'll be able to turn on our shower um, before we enter. So you're not getting wet with cold water. So you can turn it on, set your temperature. And uh, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. So we have also have this nice little window on the shower so we can see the view of the bay while we're taking a shower. And then there's a little, little window there. And over here, this is gonna be a big frosted window. And there it is on the floor. And two of the windows actually open outward so you can get some good airflow through the bathroom as well. So up here, I've just put some uh, more bracing in for the tiles. Um, that we're gonna have in the shower and it's just gonna take the added weight of all that and also help it so it doesn't crack. So if you come on into the bathroom, I can show you a little what's going on here. Um, so we're gonna have a wall hung vanity that goes from that corner to about here. So very big vanity. Um, it's gonna have one sink in the middle and lots of counter space. Um, and this here is for our LED um, big mirror. And uh, it's a super big mirror. I think it's 1200 by 750 or something like that. Um, and that's just a plug outlet there. Um, and over here, this is where our toilet is going to sit. Um, obviously, he still needs to cut his pipe back. Um, so we've purchased a smart toilet from Trade Depot. And it has 18 features. I'm not sure what the hell these features are yet. But uh, we'll, we'll find out when we get it. Um, and here we have the, the mixer for the shower. And what's good about this mixer is you can, there's a, a lever here, you can switch it from the rain shower feature to the normal shower feature. So, and also being able to turn your shower on, let it warm up before you, you know, getting hit by cold water is a very nice feature too.
The first thing uh, was the uh, telling the builder that we wanted uh, to sort out the tiles ourselves. We had to tell him that so he could put in the consent papers uh, that we were going to have tiles. Otherwise, when he showed up, he would have said, well, that wasn't in the original consent documents, blah, blah, blah. The size of our bathroom is 6.1 meters squared. Um, so it's 1,700 wide by 3,600 long, I think roughly. So we picked out all the um, accessories for the bathroom, including, you know, the mixer for the where the vanity is, and the shower head, rain shower head, um, shower mixer, etc. Um, and also we picked up the tiles, and we then hired a tiler to come and sort it all up for us. So I'll give you the actual figures of what how much things cost. Um, so the tiles, just the tiles from the store cost $600, and that was for the wall and um, the floor. Um, the tile install co uh, cost about $5,000. He hasn't sent the invoice to yet, but it, it will probably be around $5,000. Um, um, the vanity it was $585. The tap for the vanity was $144. Basin was $200. Toilet was 1,000 because we have a fancy toilet. <laughs> we'll see how fancy it is. Um, the shower mixer, the rain shower head, and the regular um, hand shower thing um, cost uh, $387. And we're going to have a nice big mirror on the wall here above the vanity, and that cost $400. Um, so that brings the total to $7,743, and we budgeted for the whole bathroom, we budgeted $12,500. So we are under budget, and um, it's coming along really well. So um, for heating our hot water in our house, um, we chose to go with an instant gas uh, water heater. Um, and this was part of the contract, but we, we did decide... Um, well beforehand what we wanted and that's mostly because um, we didn't want an electric hot water tank um, because our house is solely going to be run off a battery bank um, and, and the solar panels so um, and this is these are great super efficient and um, yeah don't have to worry about uh, using electricity so below the hot water heater I'm going to build a platform here or something um, and put two I think there are 18 kg um, LPG tanks, and those are uh, easily, um, you can carry them and bring them and fill them yourself and everything, so that'll be pretty good. So as you can see behind me here, there's uh, no more scaffold, which um, is amazing. Um, you can actually see the whole size of the house now, and um, it's really looking good. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Um, we'll see you next week.